You know, when you think about Chromebooks, Chrome OS, the fact that they basically took a Linux-based operating system and at some point said, hey, what if it ran Android apps, though? It's kind of a crazy thing to try to do because you're talking about a laptop operating system, right? Something that is meant to be navigated with a trackpad and a keyboard or perhaps a mouse and a keyboard. There is a touchscreen there, but typically it's away from you, right? Like there's a keyboard in front of you. The touchscreen is not the primary means of interaction. Android apps are entirely based around touchscreen interaction and... Uh, these apps were also not built to be used on giant screens. If you look at something like games specifically, of which there are a ton of Android games that you would think might make a lot of sense on a Chromebook, once you actually go to play them, you realize that the controls are often built in such a way that you're holding your device like this and you have you know, controls right here in this general area where your thumbs go. And when you're talking about a Chromebook, a large screen, it just isn't comfortable to play games like that. Well, it seems as though Google is finally taking some small steps towards the direction of alleviating some of these issues. I want to first show you this Twitter account, at CR underscore C2CV. This individual is uh, tweeting stuff all the time about Chrome OS in general, discovering things that are really good uh, Twitter account to follow if you do indeed care about Chromebooks and Chrome OS. They posted this video on the 17th. That was two days ago. We're going to mute this because there is some music there in the beginning. And we're going to kind of go over a couple of things in this, but I do want to highly encourage you. Click the link in the description to this video and give it a play. It's only got 556 views, which is far too few for what they have sort of uncovered in this. Chrome OS Canary 119.0-6008 has introduced a major new feature. And if we look at this, what they're going to show you here is they're going to fire up a simple game, Hill Climb Racing. And then once this has occurred, you'll see it at the top of the screen, Game Dashboard. Now, if you are a Pixel user, this is going to look very, very familiar to you indeed. It's a very similar feature to what we have on these Pixel devices. It gives you a lot of different options. If we jump ahead here, once clicking on this Game Dashboard icon, you can see again, are very Pixel-ish looking things. So what can these things do? First off, there is a toolbar. If you click on that right there, it's going to pin this toolbar on the screen. Somewhere there's a screenshot button. I think they actually show some of this stuff. You can see there they clicked on the screenshot button and then there it is, it's going to appear in the taskbar. Of course, Chrome OS users will know that most Chromebooks have a dedicated screenshot key, but there are a few Chrome OS tablets at this point, and those actually make some sense with gaming as well. So maybe you're gaming on a Chrome OS tablet. That's going to keep you from having to attach a keyboard to take a screenshot. Maybe that's the easiest way to take a screenshot at that point. There is the toolbar being turned on, and there you can see sort of an overlay to quickly access the things that you have here. But then the big one here is the thing that says controls. Okay, so what does the controls option do? You can actually already see some of this on screen. You see an A and a D there. What's happening is, and this is something that we've actually seen on some Android gaming handhelds and some other devices, it's basically going to allow you to assign a key on your keyboard to emulate a touch on the screen. So you don't have to reach up and touch the screen anymore. You can hit your A key or your D key and that is going to actually simulate you having pressed on the screen or touched the screen in those areas. So if we jump ahead a little bit further here, what you're going to see is they're going to click on the little arrow here to customize those controls. So unassigned, you can see here key A, key D, and then the backspace key. And what they can actually do is click on one of those buttons select whatever key you want it to be. You can make it either a D-pad or a single button, which is really useful because that left stick, the simulated stick over there on some different games, maybe you could make it like the WASD keys and you could use that instead of using a joystick. You can see here they're actually dragging the key around to place it wherever they actually want it to be to do the different things. Because as you know, some Android games have controls just all over the place, looking at games like PUBG and things like that. So you're going to be able to put these controls 
where you want them in it appears as though you can do exactly that like i said do go watch the original video down below give them a click let's try to get this video like over a thousand views like i said it's sitting at you know 556 let's get it up over a thousand because they deserve it what they're doing they don't have nearly enough subscribers either if they're going to be posting stuff like this let's let's help this channel out a little bit because they're doing some good stuff again this is the canary build which means it's basically like a beta beta like it's really early on so this will be coming to your chromebook eventually if you want to jump to the canary build to test it presumably you can do that but you are then running the risk of having lots of other potential bugs and things associated with running a really early beta of the operating system. It should arrive on the stable versions at some point, hopefully in the not so distant future. And I'm really curious to see how it's going to help with gaming on Chromebooks. Obviously, some Chromebooks don't even have a touchscreen. The one that I just reviewed, that Acer gaming Chromebook, did not have a touchscreen. So this is super important for that because a lot of games that are Android apps that would run great on that thing just were totally unplayable before. And now, of course, they're going to be playable on that device. So lots of good reasons to have this functionality here. It's taken a while, but it appears as though it is finally coming. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy. Bye -bye.